When I left school, I had no idea what I was going to do. I just kind of left school and got a job. I could have ended up in banking or insurance. I might never had this. I hadn't joined William Grant and Sons back in 62. It's just really developed from there and, and into this unique role in the Scotch whisky industry. David commands huge respect from the industry and um, he's the longest serving malt master in any whiskey company that we know of and therefore is the most experienced uh, malt master that there is. The first time I met David, it was a little bit like meeting a rock star or someone that you've known about and loved and admired for a while. So when I met him, I was very quiet, but honestly, he was quieter. He's the most humble, modest uh, man who shares a lot of information with few words. David's unique. You know, there's no question about that. And the work that he's done to create the Bovenny as we know it today, very much his expertise, his nose. It is the malt master's nose at the end of the day that actually decides on the quality of the whisky and decides on, on whether that particular whisky can go ahead for bottling. Nice and rich and sweet. So this is, a, this is a perfect example of what, what will be bottles as a Balvenie. Really in here I feel this is where I belong and this is what, what I like to do. I like to be pouring samples, nosing samples, experimenting in here with different samples. This is where the malt master should spend a lot of time because this is, this is what it's all about, the whiskey that goes into the bottle. He's one of these guys that clearly knows all there is to know about his subject, but he doesn't shout it from the rooftops. He's, he's a very nice, very personable guy. And there's no question, if I have a question about things, he's one of the first guys I would go to. What David is creating takes time and it takes this effort to create a flavour and a complexity. He's dealing with the, the science, but in the end, it's to create flavours, it's to create emotion. Through just his nose and the way he interprets that aroma uh, is art, you know, there's no question about it. David has lived through and worked through such a hugely important time for single malt that all of these things come together to see actually the contribution and the way that the industry's changed in 50 years is uh, it's quite stunning actually.